everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a weekly vlog. It is Tuesday the 4th of June today and I'm heading on a little staycation for the next 24 hours. <laughs> so I thought I would vlog it for you guys. Maple hasn't been on the vlogs really recently, has she? Here's your moment, your time to shine. She had a haircut yesterday so she's looking very fresh. I always prefer her with longer hair though. You are a cute girl, at least you're smelling nice. Yes. Love you. Oh, I always get so sad before I go away, even if it's just for a night, because I know I'm gonna miss her so much. Oh, she's so cute. Anyway, as I was saying, I am going away for the next 24 hours to Babington House, which I'm very excited about because I've never been before but I have wanted to go since we got our Soho membership. So I'm excited to be seeing it and hopefully the weather's gonna be nice. I'm going on a brand trip with Cowshed, so that should be really fun. I love Cowshed, I love their products. You would have seen me gift my mum a load for Christmas if you watched the Vlogmas last year. So I'm really excited, we have a fab itinerary planned. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It is six minutes past nine. I got up nice and early this morning. I actually woke up at around 5.30 accidentally because my nose is really blocked. My hay fever has been so bad the last couple of days. So I woke up with a blocked nose and I had to take my nasal spray at 5.30 this morning and then I just couldn't really get back to sleep. So. I do feel a little bit tired but it meant that I was up and kind of could get ready earlier so all I have to do now is get myself changed everything is packed I just need to put my laptop and my chargers in my bag and then I'm ready to go so yeah I'm getting picked up at 10 and driven to Babington which is really nice because I was gonna have to get the train but it's such a faff to go into London with a suitcase so I'm really happy that uh, I've got a car to pick me up and to drop me home as well tomorrow. I just can't wait for a really nice relaxing retreat. We're gonna get to use all the Cowshed products. We're having a full body massage as well, which is going to be amazing. I haven't had a proper massage in such a long time, so I'm very excited for that. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I thought it'd be a really fun vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Salcombe vlog when we went with Range Rover, that was super fun. So I'm hoping this one will be a similar sort of vibe, but I'll be able to talk more to the camera because I think this will be a bit less full on. But I am just watching Real Housewives now on my laptop whilst I wait, because <laughs> I'm not gonna get dressed and then just sit in my nice clothes. So I've got this Bow & Tee hoodie on, which is super comfortable actually. I've loved wearing this one and the black one since I got them. So I'm just relaxing before I have to go. But yeah, I'll show you my outfit before I leave and my new bag, because I have a lovely new bag. I just had a text to say my Addison Lee is on its way. So outfit is on. I've gone for this trusty Fourth and Reckless waistcoat again. You will have seen this this a number of times already on my channel but I just absolutely love it it's such a staple piece it goes with everything it's so chic it's just one of my favorite items in my wardrobe for this summer I love it I've just got that on with some black trousers because it is a little bit cloudy today so I thought black trousers would probably be best my Prada ballet flats because yeah it's probably a little bit too chilly for open toes which is annoying and then my new basket bag this is from cos and i'm obsessed with it it's so so cute they do it in a larger size as well but i just got the smaller one because i thought this is fine for me i love a small bag so yeah this is my outfit got my katie locks in here ready to go this is the new color that i just got recently it goes with my wash bag in there so i've got that to finish packing just need to put my laptop in there and my phone charger but i'm thinking i might actually need a jacket it doesn't look that warm so i don't know whether to take like a jumper to put over my shoulders or whether to actually take a jacket i'm not sure i know when we get there we're having lunch on the croquet lawn outside so i might need another layer So I have arrived at Babington. I have just literally checked into my room. We had a really nice light lunch in the library and Polly brought me over to my room and oh my God, it's incredible. I wish I'd filmed my reaction to it, but I just couldn't wait and I just ran to see what it looked like because it's unbelievable. 
I'm gonna give you guys a full room tour now. So you come in through the door into the lounge area. I've got a beautiful, beautiful sofa here. And then we've got kind of like a bar area. So we've got a couple of stools there and then the little drinks bar up here. Really, really gorgeous. TV is behind this blind. I won't lift it the whole way up, but you get the idea. And then what's in all these? We have, all oh, some tea and coffee in here. Mini bar. Oh, we've got fresh orange, lemon, lime, which is really nice. Some drinks. Some snacks, perfect. There's also a really beautiful view out here of the lawn. See the main house there as well. So gorgeous. Lovely fresh flowers as well on the table. Some apples. This table I am obsessed with. Such a beautiful coffee table. Um, so yeah, then you come through here and you have a loo. And through here is like a little bathroom for the children because look at the size of that bathtub so cute and then it's got rubber ducks adorable so yeah this is like a small person's bathroom and then if you come back here through the lounge and into this back room bunk beds so really lovely like a family room they have a chalkboard as well in here little pencils some books it's super cute I don't know what that is out here. I don't know if that's the deli bar, but... Oh, there's the pool. Sorry, I better not film anybody in their swimsuits. Now, to the upstairs, which is where, when I tell you, I gasped. So, we go up these stairs and you can hear the music playing. And then I looked around and oh my goodness. This room is incredible. One of the nicest rooms I have ever, ever stayed in. Beautiful full length mirror here. I just, oh, I can't wait to, to get ready in this room and to sleep in that massive bed tonight. It's just so beautiful. The thing about Soho Home and Soho House is they just know how to do interiors. I mean, it's just so to my taste, it's gorgeous got a little wardrobe over here such a cute little pink chair and this lamp i'm obsessed with we have as well here a tv how do i get it up oh my god oh my god oh my god this is insane and in the morning i get to have breakfast in bed in here i mean breakfast in bed in this room is just gonna be amazing i wish tom was here to share this with me because i know he would absolutely adore it just me being nosy nothing in these drawers but very good use of space there and then this bathroom again unbelievable so we've got the sink basin here another loo this hand wash and hand cream is my mum's absolute favorite shower through here lovely big classic so how shower with of course all of the cow shed products you could ever wish for such a lovely vanity unit here as well definitely going to be doing my makeup here later and then the most gorgeous bath i just i cannot wait to have a bath in here tonight and use all my cow shed products it's just oh it's gonna be amazing Oh, excuse the squeaky floorboards but yeah it's about uh 10 past three now i have my massage at three 45 and then i'm gonna come back and just enjoy this room we've got dinner at 7 30 we've got cocktail making at 7 dinner at 7 30 so i'm gonna have a really nice time after i massage to just relax and make the most of this room and just soak up every second because i cannot quite believe that i'm here in this place it's unbelievable yeah i'm loving it so i've just had my massage it was the signature full body massage and i'm feeling so relaxed it was amazing i haven't had a full body massage in years so it was so so nice so the last time you saw me i just had my massage i have run myself a bath and washed my hair because 
some of the oils and stuff from the massage got into my hair so i wanted to get all of those out and start fresh I'm kind of <laughs> excuse these floorboards by the way they are so creaky so if you can hear that in the background of this vlog then i apologize but yeah it's currently so I'm going there, 10 to 6. I know that Claire, the photographer that is here, is going to be taking pictures from 6.15. I did really want to get a shot of my outfit. So I am hoping that I'll be ready. I know I'm not going to be ready in 25 minutes. That is unheard of. I would never be able to dry my hair and do my makeup in that amount of time. But I really wanted to film some content in the lovely bar. I prioritised that and I'm going to rush to get ready. The cocktail making is at 7, which is very exciting. So I've got a bit of time before that. Plenty of time, actually. Just going to do my makeup, do my hair and pop my outfit on. I've got a really nice set from Cook Eye to wear tonight. The weather has cleared up. We were supposed to be eating outside in the walled garden, but unfortunately... That's not going to happen. I'm going to grab my makeup. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not happening because it's just a little bit overcast and it's quite chilly. It's really windy, so the air is quite cold. So we are eating inside, which is fine. Still be lovely, I'm sure. Just going to go for something simple, I think. Just my normal kind of everyday because I don't have much time. I do have my Amore like cluster lashes. I could stick on so I might do that if I have time and then in the morning I want to get up really early and film a hair care routine in here because the bathroom is just so gorgeous I have to make the most of it so we have breakfast in bed from I think 7 till 9 and then we have yoga at 10 so that will be super fun so I should have plenty of time to get up, have a shower, film my hair care routine and still enjoy breakfast in bed as well. So fingers crossed that will go to plan. So let's start off with some primer. I've lost the like pulley for this zip on my makeup bag and it's so annoying. There's brushes and stuff get caught in it and I can never get them out. Oh, there we go, right. What a pain in the ass that was. <laughs> Bobbi Brown primer for my eyes. I just use the lavender and eucalyptus bath products in my bath and they were so nice. I also had a little candle going as well. It's a shame it was such a rush. I would have loved to enjoy it a bit more, but I did just have a massage, so I can't really complain. Right, I think I'm just going to speed this up instead of chatting away to you guys because otherwise I'll never get to dinner. So outfit is on, it's actually just started raining, so not the most practical look for a rainy English evening, but I still love it. So the set is from Kukai, like I said, really nice kind of backless waistcoat, lovely trousers. These fit so, so well, and they've got really nice elasticated waist, so they're going to be comfy. I've got my little mini Marnie bag, heels are old Zara, and then got these lovely kind of like shell style earrings on from H&M which are super cute but this is my outfit very quick turnaround time I don't have a jacket so I'm going to pop a cardigan over my shoulders to walk over and hopefully it's raining later so we can get some nice pictures outside but if not it's going to be a wonderful evening regardless Hold it, the toe shakers and whatnot. But you want to do silly, you'll save time ready to go to the clear. But you're going to want to bring the t-shirt, right? Imagine someone told you your makeup's a cock or a bitch. Why not? Yeah, you can put a little cap on the side to help
because you guys know I'm obsessed with that. I actually downloaded some to watch on the way here but I started getting really car sick so I couldn't watch it. So I thought I'll put it on now and watch a few episodes whilst I fall asleep because I always like to have something to fall asleep to. I do have the cookies. I found them in the treats jar. Look at this, I'm gonna have a cookie now. Before I go to sleep. They look so yummy. So I'm gonna have a cookie, I'm gonna have my water, I am then gonna brush my teeth and then I'm gonna go to sleep. It is quite late. It is 25 to 12, so later than I would have liked to have gone to sleep. I'm gonna try and get up at 6.30. I may snooze my alarm. I also want to get up fairly early and have like a little walk around and just see everything there is here because we're only here for a short time so I kind of want to see everything and take it all in so I'm going to try and do that early and then come back here, film my hair care routine, order breakfast, have breakfast 
then do the yoga class, then head home. So it's gonna be quite a full on day tomorrow. But that is my plan. I'm gonna have my cookie now. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm in my jigsaw pajamas. I didn't put them on last night to sleep in, but I have just put them on now to get back into bed and have my breakfast in bed. This looks so yummy. I got up this morning at around seven and went for a nice walk. I went to the wall garden. I went and had a look at the swimming pool, which looks so nice, but I don't really have time to go for a swim, annoyingly. All the sunbeds were out, so it looked really, really beautiful. And then I came back, got my face kind of ready and ordered some breakfast to be delivered to my room. So I went for a classic combination, smoked salmon and scrambled eggs on sourdough with an apple juice on a tray, in bed, and I'm gonna put something on the TV. The sun is streaming in the window, don't mind my tripod there. <laughs> so it's a beautiful, beautiful day. We have got some yoga to do at 10 o'clock. It's currently quarter past eight. So there is a yoga class at 10, which I would quite like to do, but I really do just wanna make the most of this room. So I'm just gonna relax, see how I feel, and then yeah, maybe do some yoga before we leave. But honestly, it's been the most magical, magical trip. I am very sadly leaving my gorgeous little room now. Well, it's not very little. We just had such a lovely yoga class on the front lawn. It was so beautiful to do it outside. But yeah, I'm all packed up. I'm ready to go home. Just had a text to say my driver's here. So we've got a two and a half hour about journey home. I'm gonna try and edit some of my lovely pictures and stuff on the way home. And yeah, then I'll unpack when I get back. Can't wait to see little Maple. But yeah, I'll end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was so much fun. One of the best brand trips I've been on. I feel like I say that after every single trip because they're just getting better and better. And I feel so lucky and so grateful that I'm able to do it. But yeah, I've had the best time and I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you could hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.